for them to be discussing, uh, including uh, how to deal with the migration crisis. Um, so let's delve into that um, with uh, Professor Dustman. Um, Professor, what, um, what do you think uh, the, the likelihood is of, of reaching some consensus? How much common ground is there among the leaders about um, the, the challenges, the benefits and the um, answers to the migration crisis? Well, consensus, uh, depending on consensus on, 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 on what precisely. Uh, so what we are seeing at the moment is a uh, continuation of what has started in 2015. Uh, the emphasis has shifted a little bit to Africa from the Middle East, but we see that people are fleeing, uh, well, war, uh, persecution, and uh, increasingly so poverty, uh, and making their way over the Mediterranean into Europe. Now, the, uh, the borders of Libya, which have been uh, avoiding that during the Gaddafi regime, are now... Uh, uh, not doing that anymore, and uh, this flow has to be in some way addressed. Uh, where we can see, and hopefully will see, consensus is to create situations in those countries where these people are coming from, uh, which will make it a livable uh, future uh, for these people. And I think that is uh, something where we can see hopefully some progress at the G20. I mean, these are the leaders of um, some of the most powerful and, and wealthy nations. There's uh, you know, a lot of anger among some. Um, we can see protests um, taking place on the streets uh, among some people feeling that these very powerful leaders are just simply not doing enough. And I wonder whether you think that, um, for example, greater investment in Africa and, and supporting those North African economies would help uh, actually solve the deeper problem? Well, it will address the problem. Uh, it's not so much only the economic situation in which we find these people, but it's instability and insecurity. Uh, even more so, the population projections for these countries uh, are quite dramatic. We have uh, 1.1 billion uh, people living in Africa today. They are projected to increase to 2.8 billion uh, by uh, in, in, in 45 years. So the pressure uh, will not abate. Uh, we need to address uh, insecurity, instability and poverty in these countries uh, if we want to uh, address the, 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 the increasing uh, migration flows from those regions. It's got to be a long-term plan though, doesn't it? Because one of the counters to the idea of uh, immediate investment in Africa is that once people are earning more, then they will actually have more means to make that journey north to Europe. Well, that is very true. So if you, uh, many of the very poor people who would like to migrate don't even have the means to do so. Uh, so increasing uh, economic wealth uh, in those regions without uh, creating security uh, and stability and a future for these people may actually, at least in the short run, lead to increased migrations and that has to be considered. Let me just explain what we're seeing um, on screen now. These are live uh, images from Hamburg. Those protesters, uh, they're um, uh, staging a, a sit-in uh, protest in the middle of the street. It appears that uh, police are using water cannon on them to try to, to get them to move on. Um, there have been protests there in Hamburg since uh, the summit began yesterday. Uh, initially a, a very peaceful protest but then um, it, it later turned into clashes between the protesters and riot police. We can see there, as I say, the, the water cannon being used, but the protesters seemingly uh, not, not being moved by that uh, at all, determined to, to stay there. Um, uh, some of them feeling perhaps that, um, uh, that capitalism, that the markets have, have in some way uh, you know, failed some of these, these people who are in um, a really desperate situation, but also angry about what they would consider the uh, insufficient action taken by uh, the world leaders at that G20 summit. A lot of focus on that, of course, they know the world will be watching, um, and, uh, and of course, a huge media presence there with the, uh, the G20 leaders, and these protesters will no doubt have factored that in, knowing that um, they will get a lot of... Uh, uh, attention drawn to their, their cause and, and the points that they're trying to make. So, uh, Professor Dusman, looking at those images that we're seeing there from Hamburg, what reaction do you think that will garner within the G20 leaders? Well, I don't uh, think that this will uh, affect much uh, what will be negotiated uh, within the G20 uh, uh, circles. 
Um, well, the, we, we, I mean, so in, in a way, some of uh, the arguments you see in the streets are a little bit naive. Uh, of course, we need to help people in need. But uh, what we have seen in 2015, 2016, for instance, was that uh, very large uh, migration flows uh, from countries outside Europe lead to political radicalization within Europe. Uh, we had uh, a rise of uh, the radical anti-immigration party in Germany and also in other European countries as a response uh, to the migration crisis of 2015. Now, if that leads to political change, then clearly that doesn't help anybody. So we can deal with migration, but we have to avoid uh, inflows which are considered by the majority population as something which is not sustainable. Uh, again, that brings me to the point I tried to make earlier, that we need to address uh, the issues and the problems in those countries where these people are coming from. And I hope we will make progress on that uh, at the G20. Uh, the key issue here, of course, is that much of the instability uh, which is causing these migrations uh, is created by uh, a number of different actors. It's not just Europe alone which can actually influence that. Uh, it is uh, many other countries which have to take responsibility. And that's why it is so important to discuss that within the G20 meeting. Okay, Professor Christian Dusman uh, from the University College London, thank you very much Thanks for your very time much, this Professor. morning. Thank you.